Hey guys, what is up? This is Private Mittens and I'm going to be doing my pickup video for January of 2018, the first pickup video of the year. Uh, let's get started and I hope you enjoy the video. Um, we'll start with the miscellaneous stuff first, as usual. Um, I have two PS3 games here, really bad ones, but nonetheless picked them up. We have Ride to Hell Retribution. Um, I don't need to explain this one, everyone's played, well, everyone knows of it anyway, should I say. That cost me five dollars. Um, and the other PS3 game I have is The Walking Dead Survival Instinct. I have never watched the TV series of this, in fact, the only thing I've done to do with The Walking Dead is the Telltales game, so... Yeah, and this is supposed to be a prequel to the TV series anyway, so... I suppose I might play this if I ever decide to watch the series so yeah that was five dollars as well got a ps2 game quite a rare one too which is driving emotion type s for obviously ps2 um it's squaresoft essentially their gran turismo that's the best way of putting it as you can see it's got you know proper manufacturers in it um yeah i haven't played it yet but looks good nonetheless And last we have for the miscellaneous, after playing Tales of Asteria, I've won on a Tales binge to buy some Tales games. So I was able to pick up Tales of Eternia for PSP. Um, this was actually quite expensive. This, that just realized, that was $8, the racing game. Sorry, mine's a blank, but that was $8. Anyway, Tales of Eternia was quite expensive. It cost me $35, so... Yeah, uh, I will get around to playing it though, because I'm really interested into the series now, so, yeah. Tales of Eternia. Um, and the last miscellaneous title we have is a Wii U game. I actually have wanted this for a while, despite how bad people bash it. That is Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric. Uh, I, I'll play it anyway, just to see what it's like. I'm missing the other one on uh, Wii U now, so... Yeah, um, this only cost me $20, so not too bad, so yeah, um, that's all the miscellaneous titles, um, I'll do the Xbox games next, which, quite a few actually, to be honest, um, so, bring this over here, we have one Xbox One game, which is Halo Wars 2, I decided to actually get it, uh, I've installed it onto the Xbox, I just haven't played it yet. I liked the first Halo Wars game. It wasn't amazing, but it was pretty good nonetheless, and I'm looking forward to playing this one, so... Yeah. Uh, this cost me... $30 on steel. So, really happy about that. Uh, up next we have... A game that I used to have, when I used to have... You know a huge collection for the Xbox and sold most of it. That's Dead Alive 4. I decided to pick it back up again. Uh, it's my favorite in the series and it's quite frankly one of the best fighting games ever made in my eyes. Um, great game. Highly recommend playing it if you haven't. Uh, it cost me four dollars. I should have actually put that down there. <laughs> Sorry I'm trying to do this with one uh, hand here and it's doing my head in. So up next we have Halo Wars, ah, oh, Halo Wars, fucking hell, Halo Combat Anniversary, which is the first Halo game, obviously, remastered, um, Halo 1 is my favourite Halo game with Master Chief in it, and it's my third favourite Halo game of all time, so yeah, um, I had it before, obviously, like I did with Dead or Alive, and I decided to pick it back up, this cost me $8, so, it's actually quite expensive, especially because it was an Xbox 360 game. Uh, and one that's actually very easy to get. But anyway, um, up next we have a game that I've never owned on Xbox, but I own it on PS3. That is the Star Ocean Last Hope, or F Star Ocean 4, the limited collector's edition, which was exclusive to Xbox. Um, this is one of my favorite RPGs of all time, and it's actually my favorite Star Ocean game, which I know is quite controversial to say. Um, it comes with, like, the soundtrack and, like, art cards and that there in this, um... Yeah, if you want to play the game, play the PS3 version because it's better, but uh, I wanted this to have the 
limited edition, which this only cost me $20, so I'm really happy about that. And last, we have a game that I told Devil that I had, and he couldn't believe how much... Ah, he couldn't believe I found this, should I say? Sorry. That is Tales of Vesperia. As I said before, I have been on a binge to get some of these games. So I was able to find the, uh, as some people say, the Holy Grail of the series. Uh, this cost me $30 for this. It's very, very good condition, and I'm really happy anyway, because I do want to play it. And, yeah, it's not more than much to say about that. I haven't actually got around to playing it yet, so, yeah. That's $30. That's all the Xbox games, so let's get to the PS4 games, which is the final stuff that I got this month. So, yeah. I've, I... I've had a lot of old Xbox games and that that I've sold in the past, which I think I've said a few times anyway, and, like, it's got to try and get them again, more or less. <laughs> so, down to the PS4 games, there's only four. First we have Fallout 4's Game of the Year Edition, which, if anyone knows me, I always buy the Game of the Year Editions to Bethesda games. Now, if you look inside... The disc says Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition, meaning, you know, it's the actual disc. But the DLC is a code. It's not on the disc, which is absolutely stupid and annoys the hell out of me that they've done that. Um, you can, like, every, like, even Skyrim's remaster for the PS4 didn't have a, you know, digitally, it was on the disc. But then it would have got backlash for it. But, uh, yeah. Um, I've said what I've said about this when I was playing my Need for Speed playthrough. Um, I didn't like any of the DLC except for the final one, which was Nuka Cola World. Um, yeah, don't buy this version. Just you're better off buying Fallout 4 for next to nothing and buying the Season Pass for 20 quid off the store. A lot easier just to do that. Um, and cheaper. This cost me $58 for this, so I'm really not happy that it's digital only. So, up next we have Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. Um, not going to go too much into this. It's obviously Call of Duty Remastered. Went and got the Platinum to this because it's my second favorite Call of Duty. Uh, they did a really good job, to say the least, on some of the stuff anyway. So, yeah. This cost me $45, I believe, brand new, from Big W, I think. Yeah. I got this at the very start of the month. But, yeah. Um, no one's playing it much anymore, though, which is weird. <laughs> um, up next, we have Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball Fighter Z, as it's called. Um, bought this day one. Haven't got around to playing it because of something else, which we'll get to in a sec. Um, yeah, I've heard it's am uh, it's amazing, but unfortunately there's no invites. You can't invite a friend to play against you, which, if I had this true, that is absolutely bullshit. So yeah, that cost me $80, because it's a new game, of course. And last, but not least, definitely not least, we have Monster Hunter World. Holy shit, this game is amazing. Um... Yeah, I've been playing this non-stop. I think most gamers are at the moment if you own an Xbox or PlayStation. Um, yeah. You've got to get this game, guys, if you come across this video. Um, so yeah, that cost me $80 as well. Really, I would have paid 100 but still. So that's the PS4 games that I got this month. And that's everything I got this month, guys. Sorry about the camera work, but the best I can do using my phone anyway because it's better quality but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um next month i hopefully should be better i don't know but uh yeah thanks for watching guys this is private mittens and take care see you later bye